The Expo Park was filled with Western art all day today. The morning kicked off with the Russell Education Symposium. Guests got the opportunity to learn about the Maynard Dixon, one of the premier artists of the 20th, 20th century. Dr. Mark Sublett was one of the speakers and of the seminar and explained his reasons for hosting it. Charles Russell and Dixon have this connection. It's an intimate connection that a lot of people don't know about. So it just made sense to be able to talk about somebody that, you know, I've written books about, I have a museum, I understand the artists, and then that relation to Charles Russell, who is, you know, the greatest Montana artist that ever lived. Other festivities of the event included live auctions and showings by various artists. These kids aren't actually injured. This is all part of a mass injury scenario training for agencies across Powell and Deer Lodge counties to see if they're up to a task if something like this were to actually happen. We, we don't want to figure out what we need to do uh, when the time comes. Uh, God forbid it does ever come. The Anaconda Fire Department and EMS, Powell County EMS, Live Flight Network and other agencies gathered at Washoe Park for a mass casualty incident training. Steve Schmid, Live Flight Network's customer service manager, says this training is valuable. Mass casualty incidents can be chaotic uh, and it is a really good opportunity for all of the different partners to get together and train so that in the event that it does happen, there has uh, been established relationships. The scene was set up to look like a small bus had crashed into a tree. There were multiple victims. Injuries ranged from minor to fatal. Elizabeth Krakoka participated in the simulated scenario, acting along to what injuries were on her card and answering the questions EMTs asked. I decided this would be fun and I might as well do it since I knew that there weren't going to be a lot of people doing it and it might as well be something to help out the community. The goal of the training is for the many different agencies to work together and use their knowledge to mitigate environmental hazards, contain products, medically treat pediatric patients, and transport them to the hospital. It's extremely uh, not only important for us as first responders, but also for the community hospital to do these uh, kind of drills. In Anaconda, Caitlin Aguilas, MTN News.